Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. So just today, a brand new game update dropped that introduced new stair options. Oh, and a new island counter for the island living counters. Cool, that's not what we're looking at though. We also got some brand new stairs as well. So let's just use these. So these, this is a really cool update. This is really cool. If you guys haven't seen this yet, uh, I don't know where you've been. You've totally missed it. But when you play stairs now, you'll notice that there's this little thing right here in the middle. If we click and drag on that in any direction, you'll see that the stairs start spinning around. We can do L-shaped stairs and U-shaped stairs. Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? And you can keep doing it as well. It's not just the once. And then you can move the whole staircase again. How cool is this though? It is beautiful. If we have enough room, we can actually wrap the stairs around underneath themselves. I don't know if we have enough headroom to get under here, but if, if we did have enough height here, you could actually just keep going underneath and stepping down. Maybe if we move this a little higher. Oh, doesn't that look good? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm so excited about this. Now, <laughs> so we've got the brand new stairs. I've been playing around with them. Uh, we are going to use that. I'm going to see if we can build. It's been a while since we've done like a tiny home. The problem with tiny homes is you're always limited by stairs and, you know, where you could actually fit them. But now if we had a, a tiny home like this, previously we wouldn't be able to get the stairs inside because like we can get these in, but then the landing is outside of the footprint. But now if we were to just, you know, rotate the stairs a little bit and then move them, we could actually fit those stairs within a four by four footprint. So we could get the stairs within a, within five squares basically. Or if we do it this way, it only takes up four. So that's the most space efficient way uh, doing the L. But it means we can also make the builds even smaller because while at the moment the stairs go up and it does go outside, if we were then to do something like this, this actually fits within the footprint of a three by three. Now, uh, it, it takes up way too much space, but this is just so, this is so epic. I don't know, I'm talking way, way too much about the stairs more than I am actually building with them. Let's do a four by four. Let's see if we can do a four by four. Maybe let's go like three stories because previously there's no way we could get stairs within this without it sticking out all over the place. And I'm gonna make it look, cause we got Realm of Magic just around the corner. Why don't we make it look a little bit magic-y, a little bit, a little bit funky. Oh, you know what? Let's use two different roofs. And then the other roof will be like a little bit lower. The curve will be like slightly different. So it's almost like kind of like falling a little bit, you know, that kind of just a little bit, a little bit wonky. And to that effect, why don't we even do like this? We sort of shift one of the levels a little bit. Yeah. What if we do like a little turret on this one? I know it's just diagonal, but it will probably still look pretty good. Yeah, here we go. Oh, dude, this is this is na this is what I call realm of magic. It's magic, baby. So I'm gonna use this fence down the bottom, and we're gonna combine that with a spandrel on the top. It would help if I put it in the right spot. We're gonna do that, so it sort of like hangs down underneath it. And now you just remove the fence, and then you get to keep the spandrel. And we can use some of these guys on the side to support the rest of the building on that side. Yeah, there we go. I wonder if we could even fit a taller level with the stairs. I don't know, we might be pushing it now, but this is starting to look really cool. Okay, maybe, maybe let's let's go inside and actually see if we can fit all this. Okay, so we gotta go up into this area on this floor. So I guess we're gonna have to put the stairs outside first and sort of adjust them. So we've got basically a four by three space to fit these stairs in. Does that fit? Oh, I think that already fits. <laughs> I mean, really inconveniently in the middle of the room. Um, ooh, that looks good downstairs. And then upstairs, ooh. We kind of shut ourselves in the foot by shifting this whole level over. Like there's not much we can do with this space. So we really need the stairs over here. Okay, now this level's looking good. The lower level, maybe not so much. <laughs> We might sort of be in a position where this uh, one of the levels has to be useless because <laughs> we need to fit stairs in. Wait, this might work. So we got some room under the stairs. We might be able to put some items there. We might have to get a sim into test. As long as they can sort of walk and navigate underneath this, we might be in luck. And then that gives us loads of space up here as well. And we could even get the stairs in the same spot just above it. However then we kind of get the same problem up here. I mean, we can use the one by ones, like the one by three space, it's usable, but it's just not ideal. But then we have a lot of usable space here. So maybe we leave it like this. Let, let's try and see how we go. <laughs> oh, wait, maybe this can't be on foundation because uh, of the spandrels. Maybe what we do, we do move it up. 
like this. Okay, bear with terrain tools, move this up to meet it. And then we have it on a little hill. Yeah, there we go. It's like on this like weird little hill. It's kind of creepy. Evil fence. Well, hang on. Are we building an evil witch's tower or what, what are we building? I don't know. Maybe like this. Yeah, I like this fence. This is good. So we have this like little pathway that like goes up to it. It kind of doesn't work because you kind of have to go up and then down a little bit. But shh, no one will know. We got some like darker grass right here. Yeah, okay. I guess this is, I don't know. I don't know if it's evil or if it's just like a witch thing, but it's kind of like darker. Oh yeah, we're gonna have like this weird creepy fountain down here. I mean, it's not, re it's not really creepy at all, but just there. <laughs> got lots of like plants and all that. Kind of want it to be overgrown. I'm, I'm purposely not choosing like dead plants or ones that are like typically scary. Like I kind of just want it to look like an overgrown garden, but also kind of creepy. Okay, that's starting to look pretty good. Like that's kind of the idea I'm going for. But let's get back to the build. Maybe the lower level can be like a stone. And then as you get up, it sort of changes into the shingles that look a little bit more rickety. Okay, yeah, this is this is starting to look how I want it to. This looks really cool. Uh, I just hope we can actually furnish this thing because we don't have a lot of room in here. Quite like this door. Ooh, this is a really nice frame. This is new, I like that. I think just a simple door. Nothing too special, just like that. Just a nice wooden door in the front. And then we should get like a little roof over it just for a little bit of detail and get some windows now. And we want a little door for the balcony as well. So I have to go right there because otherwise the stairs are in the way. Definitely get some windows in this turret. Oh yeah, maybe these ones. Oh, this window in the top. Yeah, yeah, the nice little curved one. Oh, this is cool. It doesn't really fit though. Neither does that. All that. Man, all these cool windows don't fit. All that. All this. So all three wide. I need to have like a four wide window here. What about mosquito stuff? <laughs> what if we got like a mosquito loft window? No, that looks so stupid. All right, so I got all the windows and the doors in and that. Now we're going to try and figure out the layout and how this is all going to work. And I guess probably get some banisters on the stairs too. Dude, that looks so cool. I love these. I love that we can do stairs like this now. It's so good. So I guess we're going to need a bathroom. I kind of want to test if we can get underneath this. And if so, how far under? Like, can, can I get here? That might be a bit of a stretch, but we'll see. Let's get you inside the house. Let's do this. All right, so we can get inside the house. So that's a good first step. Damn it. <laughs> Yeah, I guess because it is too short under there. But I'm wondering if we have it like maybe on the edge or something, just like something that's kind of near, like how close can we get? So that definitely works. So there's definitely some workarounds that we can do here. Well, where's the bed gonna go? I would love like a single bed to just like sit in this. Oh, do you reckon this will work? <gasps> this might work. There might be enough room there. Actually, I don't know if I can get, even get through that bit. Let's see. So he's gonna come up. Stairs work. That's good. Do yeah. Oh yes. Okay, we're totally putting the bed there because that sort of gets it out of the way and it's like it's not blocking anything. All right, now we're talking. Let's get the matching fence. That is not the matching fence. Uh, get the matching fence there, <laughs> so that's uh, like, you know safe. Uh, and let's see, so I guess we have to have this bit open. Uh, and I guess we're gonna have to see what we can do with uh, this space. And then even down here, it'd be interesting. We gotta get a bathroom somewhere. Which maybe could just go here, or maybe up. Maybe up here could be the bathroom. I'm actually kind of wondering if we could try and squeeze a bathroom in this one by four space. All right, let's have a door. We might need to create more room. Gotta use a vampire's toilet. No, cause it's too big. We, we need a toilet we can just shove in a wall that you don't really see. I'm wondering if we could like have a toilet here. Uh-huh. And then they can, I mean, the door is definitely going to hit it, but if they can still get around it. What if we had this? So the, the, the whole thing sticks out. Ah, oh, dude. And then we can like, then this thing can be in there, but it doesn't even look like, ah. Oh. And this thing can be in there and it doesn't even look like it's sticking out. And even the toilet can be there. Okay, so this is the best I could get it. Uh, I was really trying hard to get the toilet in that window bay, but it just wasn't having it. So we've got the, the sink in the window bay, the toilet in the corner, and it's looking pretty good. I mean, it's pitch black. We can't see anything, but it looks pretty good. So we should probably do the actual interior, like flooring and all that. I think, oh, can we do like vampire tiles? I feel like vampire stuff works pretty well for like a witch's hut. Oh, we can just do wood. Wood's probably fine too. This isn't really a particularly witchy bed, so we might actually change that. <laughs> I was hoping that it might have had some better colors to it. It seems slightly, uh, this one looks pretty good. Actually, even in that color looks pretty good. Actually might look cool if we can do a wall here and then do an archway. I need one that's gonna stretch though. None of these stretch to take up the whole width. So maybe what we do is use columns instead and then a spandrel. I'm hoping the sim can still get in there. We'll have to test that in a bit, but I think that'll look quite nice. Yeah, get a like curtain in front of the bed like that. 
So it's like you'd close the curtains here, but not like <laughs> anywhere. It's like it closes over the bed. I hope you can get a book out of that that bookcase. I know it's kind of like underneath, but I'm wondering if they can just get it from there. That'd be really handy. A little reading chair as you like come into the house, just there. Got to remember that this is a witch's tower and not like a vampire tower because I, I feel like I'm kind of uh, like trending that way. I think this like lower floor is really cool. I hope that bookcase works. Otherwise, maybe we I'll keep it there because I, I don't know that there's anything else we can do with that space. But we could always add in another bookcase if we need to give it like a modern gray coat as well. But we got like the brown wall there. Then we have all the wood. I think this looks I think it actually looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. So this level that we have now, like down here, what we're doing is I guess like the living room. Then we're also going to need to have a kitchen and dining. Well, not dining, that'll just be in the kitchen area. But yeah, we need to sort of figure out where all of that stuff goes. All right, let's figure out some proper lighting for this room as well, because we just have a random ceiling light. One of these over here. Yeah. One of these over here. Oh, well, then they should sort of like go up with the stairs. Yeah, that's good. I have very low expectations of that working but a little lamp in there little chair to sit and watch your tv there it is over there little little living room very nice oh we got this little spot by the door as well actually maybe that should be another bookcase in case the other one doesn't work make it a little bit brighter than the other ones uh i hope they can still get to the stairs we'll have to test that but there's, there's a lot of testing to be done with this but I think right now, looking pretty good. So this floor, I think, is where we're going to need it to be the kitchen. Ooh, I like the little bit of blue on this wallpaper. You know, they're having a little bit of fun, but it's still got, like, the wood paneling. So we got to get a kitchen set up up here. I don't know why I'm playing at nighttime either. Uh, we'll have to adjust these lights too, but for now, let's put that in the middle. I think we can have a sink there. They should still be able to chop food up there. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so let's get some lights in here as well. Uh, well, let's get one for the bedroom. Maybe we could use the same little light we're using in the rest of the area. There's not really any room here, but <laughs> we'll squeeze it in. Just in there. I, I mean, I guess it's gonna have to sort of tuck between the curtains like that. Then we'll get rid of this light in the main area. I guess we'll have some more of these. These are good above the stairs and all that, I think. But we definitely need some proper light in here too. Maybe some ceiling light. Just like that, I guess. Maybe further back, actually. So it's sort of in the center of that area. Man, this kitchen is dark. Think, what if we get some of these like really crappy like tube lights over here? I actually might extend these shingles all the way along. I put the shingles in here because it was kind of like supposed to be like a splashback for the kitchen. Uh, but now I've kind of extended it for all of the area. Now, we don't really want to do any clutter on the counters because we don't really have room for that. So I'm just going to sort of put a few things around the place. Ooh, a little heater. Yeah, yeah this is perfect. Hey, maybe that can go here on this wall. Maybe that little milk jug thing there. I wonder if we get the bin in here or if it'd have to go over there. So I'd very much like a bin right here. I think that might still work. I mean, it's kind of gross. It's right by the bed, but the, so is the whole kitchen. So whatever. Maybe we get some like broom and dustpan thing over here as well. Cause it's sort of by sort of near the kitchen area. I didn't put a bin there. Maybe some herbs and all that. Some herbs. Oh, we should definitely get the hat and the coat down by the door. Nice little detail. That could be a little bit smaller. A little, I mean, is is that weird now? Is a scan? Oh, no, that looks all right. <laughs> you, you wouldn't know. Pots and pans for sure. I think we'll just get those maybe here in the corner, just so it's not right above the, all of that. Oh, hang on, that one's there. There we go. Get all those hanging up there. I mean, that's pretty good. Nice little detail in there. Ooh, can we fit in a wardrobe? I need one that's fairly small to just sort of sit here. Oh, this one might fit. There's like part of the kitchen there. <laughs> Look at this little area with the bed and the kitchen right there. Oh man, I love it. All right, then this, I was actually going to use this. I wasn't going to do a dining area, but I actually think that this is like a perfect dining spot. There's so much room out here. Look at this. A couple of little chairs out there. And we got like little garden planters out here. Oh yeah, you can grow some stuff out here. That'd be sweet. Get a couple of things growing here. Maybe do some alchemy. You know, you're going to need that area for it. Maybe another one down over here. So you get like three, maybe four plants out here potentially, if we can sort of fit. Hopefully the sim can fit around there. We'll, we'll test it all out. Let's lie on the wall, maybe just underneath that sort of support we have there. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now upstairs we've got the bathroom, which I mean, honestly, I don't think there's much we can do with this. I mean, I can change the shower, but that's about it. I mean, change the shower to what? There's not a lot, there's not a lot of options. They're all pretty modern. It looks a little bit more dank. Can maybe just get like a few bathroom clutter things around the place. 
I mean, <laughs> it has to be really small. We don't have a lot of room here. This toilet is the saddest thing ever. I'm just sitting in that corner trying to go. There you go, there's your toilet paper. <laughs> Get a towel, maybe. The towel has to go like, oh, the hand towel has to go like pretty low down too. Maybe just a smaller one. I guess they can go opposite you. Get these little um, shower amenities, maybe a whole extra section of them like that. Uh, you know what we don't have? We don't really have a mirror. Like we do have a mirror on the stairs, but I don't think they can use that. The nice little flowers. I mean, there's not really much we can do in this bathroom, so I'm not exactly holding out for much. Let's get some more of these lights. I wonder if we can just do one of these in here. Oh, it's so, it's so dim. I can't see that like doesn't provide any light, but I kind of like it and then we don't have realm of magic yet But that's coming real soon. So I think It'd do some magic -y stuff up here. I mean, what could we do for now? Do like the listening device thing We do some spying up here and then I guess just decorations and that I mean like I would definitely replace this with stuff That you needed. I mean if you if you decided to download this you could put whatever you wanted in here but I was thinking I, well, I, number one, I don't even know how big magic objects are going to be and what we're going to have, so... I mean, it might not even fit in this space, but for now, we're just going to do that, do a few little items. Maybe like a lamp over here or something. It's like a really sad little area up here. There's nothing really here. There's a little rug under that. All these pictures over on the wall. You know, give it a bit of character, maybe make it people though. I feel like that's better. That's yeah, probably good. It's just a few little items up there to give it some purpose other than just a bathroom. We'll get rid of that light and then maybe get another one of these ones just over here or something like that. That's fine. So a little, I guess like another little office kind of area up top in the bathroom and then living and bedroom in the middle down the bottom. Oh, not living, bedroom, kitchen and bedroom in the middle and then living down the bottom. So that is like the furnishing. Now we got to jump back outside and finish this up. Okay, that looks much better. Just done a few little shrubs and trees around the place. We got this really small tower. All four by four rooms, except, I mean, we did extend this little section here. So technically a little bit bigger than four by four, but mostly just a way that we could use these brand new stair, uh, the stair update. And I'm super excited about this. We, we got to try this out and see if it works now. Okay, well, it's nighttime and my guy's at the top. So can you just go down here? Let's see if you can sleep. Please tell me you can get down there. No! Wait, okay, which part's not working? Okay, that works. Can we get downstairs? Can you go here? <laughs> okay, so we can get downstairs. He just can't get- Okay, you know what? I think it's because we, we did actually slide the bed in a little bit. So now begins the troubleshooting process. I think it just needs to go there, pretty much. And hopefully that's fine. Oh. Alright, so we'll just slide that over a little bit more now, hopefully. Slide that over a little bit more and now hopefully you should be able to jump into that. There we go. It's like, it's a little bit more cramped. Uh, maybe we can move this bin actually. Maybe we can just move the bin to the end like this instead. Alright, so we can definitely use the bed. Let's just double check again because I've moved some stuff around. Actually, you know what? Let me move this back over here just so it's not right in the way. Right, and sleep, please. And let's go through to the morning because it's really dark and it's super annoying. <laughs> Can't see anything. And then we can make some breakfast. Okay, that's good enough. Let's go ahead, go ahead and cook. We want to use something that takes up everything. So something you actually have to cook. I guess grilled cheese is fine. Please tell me this works. Go to the fridge. Let's go to the fridge. Okay, fridge works. Stove works. Uh, we didn't actually make something that... We need him to chop something up. So we might have to try something else. Let's make sure the counter works as well. Although he can put a plate there, so it's probably fine. All right, clean that up. Hopefully she goes... Oh, okay. He's going to the bin. Which is odd because he should be using this bin. Now, I wonder if it's just because he doesn't want to use this bin and it's just the Sims being stupid or if he can't use this bin. Let's delete the outside bin to, <laughs> to see if the inside one works at all. So he's using the sink. He doesn't appear to be using that bin. Well, let's make a salad because salad he has to chop up. Let's make sure that... Oh, he can't seem to... Okay. For some reason he could put plates here, but he can't chop up here. But I'm actually not sure why. None of this should be blocking it. Let's just see. Okay, now we can chop up. So the, the wall decorations actually were blocking that. So maybe we just move them further out of the way. Maybe we do just put them above the stove because there's actually a spot. I can sort of place them without move objects. That's what I'm trying to do, but also it sucks. So let's try, let's just try putting them there. And if you can still use the stove. So anyway, we'll um, hang on, cancel that. Use the bin. Okay, he's using the sink. I don't know why he doesn't want to use that bin. Actually, I wonder if we put the bin, I'll put it here instead, just on the little corner. How about vegetable dumplings? Does that require chopping and cooking? Okay, so we can use that now, that's great. The oven appears to work just fine as well, which is really good news. He's going out here. We're going to say clean up. Is he going to use... Oh, he used the bin. He's using the bin and he's using the sink. I don't know. Something about the bin being there. He couldn't use it. All right. So the kitchen all works. I'm going to assume changing outfit does too. Let's change into this. That shouldn't be a problem anyway. That's all good. Can we go plant some things in here? Purchase seeds. Start of flowers. Sure, why not? Great. All of these work as well. For some reason, he doesn't like doing the last one until I tell him to do it, but it totally works. 
Can't quite seem to get through this area, so we just need to rearrange this. I mean, if we just do this, that's fine for now. Because we don't need to get over there. All right, cool. We can sit there. That's no problem. Now, downstairs will be an interesting test. So let's go all the way back down. Actually, can they use this? Can they use a mirror on the stairs? Like, if you were to... Oh, I can't because you can't tell them to go there. That'd be really cool. Anyway, let's get down here. So I assume we're going to be able to sit here fine and then probably watch TV fine as well. Let's see. Yep, perfect. Can we grab a book? For oh, we can use that. That's awesome. Yeah, that's so good. We can use the bookcase under the stairs. And then obviously that one's going to work too. And then that's probably fine as well. That's fantastic. All right. There you go. Shut up. <laughs> I don't want free earbuds. There you go. This all works. This tiny witch's tower with the new stairs, totally functional. If you want to download this, I will link it in the description down below. You can check it out there. Or you can go on to my gallery, which is The Sim Supply, all one word. You can find it there as well. But I hope you enjoyed this. And hopefully with Realm of Magic coming soon, we'll be able to maybe just redecorate it a little bit and put a few magical items into it and make it more useful. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you next time. Make sure to leave a comment, suggestion, or feedback down below. And how cool are the new stairs? I'm super excited for them. <laughs> I can't wait to do more. Like, this is the first thing I did. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. And have an awesome day.